Hey, it's Sean here from P2R. Today I got my CNC ported cylinder head and a set of Brian Crower cams. I'm gonna go ahead and put these in the head, install the rocker bridge, uh, follow along and see how I do it. All right, so what I have here is an R70 cylinder head that we CNC ported. This cylinder head comes in a wide range of applications. This particular one that I'm working on, we pulled it out of a 2012 Acura TL 3.5 liter front wheel drive. And I believe it's gonna be going in the eighth gen Accord. They both pretty much use the same head, it's the same head casting. So the first thing I want to do is I want to oil up all of the journals. Uh, you know, just put some oil in there, make sure it's lubricated well. Uh, there's no real need to put a whole lot of assembly lube or anything like that. Uh, the cam also does come lubed up as well, so uh, it's pretty much going to slide in pretty easily. Just want to make sure you're holding the cam straight, and uh, you just got to wiggle it a little bit and you'll get it in pretty easy. I like to put my finger on the next side so I can just kind of make sure I'm keeping the cam straight, now, not hitting the journals as I'm trying to put it in. Let's give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a spin, just make sure I'm lined up properly. There's actually been um, some heads that I've gotten from the junkyards in the past that have actually been warped and the cam won't spin. Uh, we don't actually use those, but this is something to look for if you were ever um, putting together a head of your own and you're having an issue where the cam won't spin. So the next thing here I have is the the end of the rocker bridge. Um, I think it's called like a, a rocker joiner or something like that. It's pretty much uh, going to keep your two shafts that go through the rockers in place. Now this particular part needs Honda Bond on it. It does not use an OEM gasket or anything like that. So I already cleaned the edge off and I'm just going to go ahead and put some Honda Bond on there. And that's going to allow it to seal off properly. You do want to make sure your surface is clean, doesn't have any oil on it or anything like that to um, make sure the Honda Bond will ed uh, stick properly. So once I put the Honda Bond on there, I'm pretty much just going to slide it onto the end of the rocker bridge. And once that's in place, the next step really is pretty simple and straightforward. I really just need to rest the rocker assembly on the cylinder head. and. When I'm doing that, what I like to do, before I even do it actually, I like to put some oil on everything as well too. Uh, essentially I didn't lose any assembly loop here, I'm just making sure that everything is well oiled. So on the first startup, you know, there's already oil everywhere, everything's going to work pretty well. Um, again, back to what I was saying, when I'm going to pick up the rocker bridge, I want to make sure that I'm holding the, all the intake rockers in place because it can get a little bit um, tricky when they start rotating on you. Um, maybe in a, uh, another video in the future, I will go ahead and disassemble the complete rocker assembly and show you how to put it back together if you actually have one that's not together at all. But for this video, I wanted to keep it simple, uh, keep it easy, and just let you see how easy it is to install the Brian Crower cam when you have pretty much an assembled head ready to go. So from here, I'm just going to go ahead and hand tighten all of the bolts on the rocker bridge. And the ones on the end, you do want to make sure that um, we get these in right away. Since we've applied Honda Bond, we need to make sure that um, we snug it down and get it torqued properly so that the Honda Bond can seal and dry in the proper position. So we just speed through here, get all the bolts put in. Once they're all screwed in, I'm going to go ahead and torque them to spec. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention, I like to actually leave the rockers uh, loose. I screwed a valve adjustment tap. It's all the way out to make sure that the cams do not push any of the valves open. So everything's torqued and ready to go. I hope you guys uh, learned a little something here and see how easy it is to put this together. I just finished, I'm torquing it and this thing is pretty much ready to go. Thanks again for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Basically how simple it was for me to install a Brian Crower cam into a R70 cylinder head. I'll see you guys again next time. If you like the video, please like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys again soon with another build.